morning. I'm just making my coffee. It is Saturday morning here. Ooh, so good. I bought these little skinny syrups online. You could get them at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um, I used the glazed donut. There's zero calories. Um, so I have my coffee. I just take a little bit of milk. You can do cream. Are, do you want to view, like, sniff your milk before you pour it? I do every single time. I think I've just ran into having sour milk too often that I don't trust it. So I always sniff milk before. Oh, got to get a spoon. So today is Saturday. I was going to go to the gym today, but I think I'm going to pass on the gym today and just work out Sunday through Thursday next week because... Ted and I are going to go to Napa for a late anniversary trip, so I'm very excited about that. Then, I've got to have a little of my sugar-free whipped cream, just a little, or a lot of that, <laughs> and that is my coffee for the morning. And then today, this video is sponsored by Lol Bed, and I'm really excited, so I'm going to share that with you later on. I'm in the video. I posted a photo of our Lowell mattress coming in and I'm so excited. You guys know that back in February, we ordered new furniture for this house. We bought this house back in August of last year and we needed basically all new furniture. Um, the house was bigger, we needed more furnished and we wanted to get like a new bed because we don't have like a headboard or anything. So we wanted a new bed and with a new bed, we needed a new mattress. And so uh, Lowell was kind enough to send us a new mattress. Our bed should be in in two weeks, but I'm going to show you the mattress, unboxing it, how cool it all is. Like, I can't believe a king size mattress fits in a box. Like, it's just crazy. <laughs> so, and I've had a lot of mattresses in my day, and you guys know I'm like a huge napper. So, um, I like to have a very comfy bed. I'm very picky with my mattresses. Um, so anyways, that will be later on in this video. You'll see Ted and I, he has to help me carry it up the stairs because it's a little bit heavy for me to carry up the stairs. Um, but yeah, you guys will see that. So thank you Lil for partnering with me for this video. I am super excited. Uh, cause like I said, I love my sleep. Um, for my foundation, I used the Love Your Selfie Four Month Foundation by Pure in MN3. Um, for my highlights, it's like real glossy. It, it is tacky. It's this new Mac strobe face glaze illuminator from their new bronze collection. Um, I also used this shadow. Where did it go? This one right here. Also, I'm not packaging so pretty. This is in Saint Tropez and it's like a really pretty rose gold. And I just paired that with the nude mood from ColourPop. I really like that. Um, my liner, which you guys know I'm obsessed with, this Wet n Wild liner, literally best liquid eyeliner you'll ever use. It's super waterproof, lasts all day, doesn't smudge, doesn't run. Um, most of the time when I use my cleanse off oil at night, it doesn't take it off. I have to use waterproof eye makeup remover. So it is really good. It's the Wet n Wild breakup proof liner. Um, what else? Cheeks. Um, this is something that I bought recently when I was telling you guys that I got a few things from um, Sephora. This is in Macchiato. It's the Fenty Cream Bronzer, and I really like that. It's super pretty. Um, so I've been using that. For my blush, I used these from MAC, the So Natural Glow Blushes. Again, love these. I have every color. Literally use them almost every day, so I really like those. Uh, what else? Lips. This is a lip liner I've been using a ton and I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram about. It's the NYX Natural Lip Liner. And then I topped it with, from the new MAC collection, a la Plage. I don't know how to say it. P-L-A-G-E. Um, and it's just a really pretty kind of pinky nude. I really like the way that that turned out. For bronzer I used, again, from the new MAC collection. They just sent this over yesterday, so I was really excited to try it. And look at the packaging. Oh, it's so pretty. This is in Beige Beauty. And that's what I have on. It's a little bit more of a cooler toned bronzer, but it's super pretty. Um, I think that's everything. This is a little Skims robe and I still have to do my hair, but that's kind of what I have going on on my face. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what makeup I had on today.
So I wanted to share with you why we decided to go with a wool mattress. Now I have had a sleep number mattress for probably 10 years now, and I've never really loved it. And it is so many people on Instagram, on YouTube, talk about the lull mattresses. And so I was super interested because we love the kind of memory foam style bed. It's just what we love. It's what we obviously like because we bought a whole pad to go on top of our expensive sleep number bed. So I will do a whole other like vlog style video um, when that comes in. So you guys can kind of see the whole room put together. It's still in progress, obviously. So we wanted something that was a kind of um, memory foam type bed. Also, I get really, really, really hot when I sleep. So I love a cold room. I wanted a cold mattress. And this bed, the little bed, is that it helps with airflow. So it takes the heat away from your body and moves it away from you while you're sleeping. So um, the gel layer on the top basically transfers the hot air away from your body and like creates airflow so that you're not sitting in like a big hot spot on your bed. The other reason that I really like more of a memory foam type bed that it kind of um, forms to my body, it really helps. Um, I am a side and a tummy sleeper and especially if I'm a tummy sleeper, it can hurt my back but I do find with a memory foam type bed that that really relieves a lot of the pressure on my hips um, and on my back and my knees. And so I really love this style of mattress. And so I can tend to be a little bit of a restless sleeper. And so I'll like thrash around trying to get comfortable. And I'm excited to see how this works with not waking Ted up because our old bed, I'd be moving around, moving around, tossing, turning, and it would always wake up Ted. And this mattress is supposed to distribute the um, motion when you're moving and absorb a lot of it so that it doesn't wake up your partner. So I am very excited. Ted's probably more excited about that than I am. Say that you do not need to flip the mattress, which is really cool because a lot of traditional mattresses, pillow top mattresses, you have to flip so that they don't get like a big sunken in spot. Uh, they do say that if you are sleeping with somebody who is significantly a different um, weight than you, then every three to six months to 180 your mattress, but you don't actually flip it. So I am so excited, you guys. I'm really excited to try this mattress. I will keep you updated. This is going to be a week long vlog. So I'll have had a few good nights in this bed to kind of let you know. And then once the new bed comes in or the new frame headboard comes in um, and we get this room all set up in the next few weeks, I will make sure to let you guys in on how the mattress is going. We'll have a good few weeks under our belt sleeping on the new mattress. And I also posted on Instagram that we got this and there was quite a few of you that had messaged me or commented that you got the mattress and you absolutely love it. So I'm so excited, you guys. Um, sorry that the unboxing was on. <laughs> the sleep number. I asked them specifically like, can I stick this on my sleep number? They probably were like, yeah, the sleep number mattresses come off. You can put it right on the frame. I clearly did not know that I could take the mattresses off the frame because I have never set up that sleep number bed or ever taken them off that before. So I had no clue, but here we are. It's at a normal height. <laughs> and so anyways, I will follow up with you guys throughout the week on how the mattress is going and let's just uh get this bed made this is real life <laughs> this was the bed that we used to have before the mattresses were attached to it i didn't know that those mattresses could come off uh but with a little googling i found out that they can because that was just too crazy and ridiculous thinking that we were going to sleep on that big mattress that tall so now we have my big old lull mattress with some sheets on it and I'm gonna try to get this back on the bed. I don't know why I decided to do this after Ted had left, because this would have been much easier having Ted's help, but um, I'm gonna get this mattress back on the bed and it'll make so much more sense. So here we go. Oof.
Okay, so I just got done filming a uh, empties video. I haven't filmed one since February, I think is the last one. Um, right before I got my rhinoplasty. So it's been a hot minute. And I literally have, you guys, oh my gosh, look at this. Huge, huge bag <laughs> of empties. Um, so that'll be up soon. Good morning, happy Sunday, Sunday morning today. I'm headed to the gym to go do a little leg day workout. Um, update you on the bed. We slept so good. <laughs> um, I was very comfortable. I really like a, like I said earlier, a foam top type mattress. Um, so it was incredibly comfortable. I slept amazing. Ted slept amazing. So, um, so far night one was great. Pretty chill weekend. Um, next weekend we're going to go to Napa for a late anniversary trip because we, our anniversary was May 13th and we did not get to go anywhere because of coronavirus. So, um, stuff has opened up a little bit in California. I feel like a lot of things are closing down again, but Napa is open and it's one of Ted's favorite places to go. So we're just going to go there and just kind of get out of town for a day and spend some time together. Well, that was a fabulous workout. I did 20 minutes on the stepper and which I, I do the stepper every time. I actually enjoy the stepper, so it's not like annoying to me to do it. Um, so 20 minutes on the stepper. Then I did Chloe Ting. She, I just recently found her. I'm really hot, sorry, I gotta put some air on. Um, I just recently found her channel, which she has like 11 million followers, so I'm late to the game with that one. But if you work out from home, or if you like to do more body weight type workouts, she's got a ton of them. Uh, so I did one of her like, I don't know, I think it was like the round booty or something, I don't know something that was uh, a lot of band work. I used, you can use the resistance bands or not. I use them and it was probably, I don't know, 15 minute workout, 10, 15 minute workout. And then, and I kind of did that to activate my glutes cause it was, my butt was burning by the end of it. Then I just did, you know, hamstring curls, leg extensions, calf raises, uh, hip abductors, just a few things like that. And then I finished up with 30 minutes on the treadmill because I like to get my steps in, but it's way too hot. It's already 100 degrees out, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so I'm not going to be outside walking. So I try to do at least like 10 minutes on the treadmill just to get some steps in, because I do like to get my 10,000 steps in a day. Um, and I don't feel like I walk around my house enough to like get 10,000 steps in. All right, so protein shake. These are what I always drink, these Premier Proteins. I have pretty much tried every flavor except for like peach. Maybe there's a banana flavor. Um, the strawberry and cream is not bad. Tastes kind of like a strawberry shake. I like the chocolate, vanilla, um, and the cookies and cream. Those are probably my favorite. I have no desire to try the peach though. I feel like a lot of peach stuff kind of tastes like throw up. So I'm not about to try that. Um, but I do like these. I, they're 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, one gram of sugar and three grams of fat, four carbs. So they're super easy. I just buy them all off Amazon. I actually get them um, auto shipped. So, and then I wanna show you really quick what I take for like pre-workout and stuff. Alani New, uh, not sponsored. I've been using their products for quite a while actually. Um, let me, I should have brought my little tripod thing down here. Uh, the pre-workout, I also have the pump, which is stimulant free. So if you don't want caffeine, that would be a good one. Um, but I just do half a scoop. If I do more than that, my ears start itching. I get the tingles, um, but half is good. So this is the Arctic White. I like it. I like that it's not, I mean, it's sweet, but it's not like gag me sweet, like most pre-workouts are. Um, so I really like that one. And then I take my BCAAs, which is what I drink during my workout. I finished with the strawberry kiwi one. That was super good. I can't find that one available anymore. Um, so I tried the sour gummies and I really like that one. I actually like it better than the strawberry kiwi, which I didn't think I would, um, but it's really, really good. I just 
drink all of my BCAAs in like my Starbucks tumblers. I used to use shaker cups, um, but I don't like the big spout. So I like the straw and this one's just a cute Starbucks one. Um, so that's where I drink my BCAAs. My pre-workout I drink before my workout and I just put it in like a little, Ted did the dishes. Um, I just put some in like a cup. Here, I'll show you. Confession time, this is my Starbucks tum tumbler uh, cabinet. It goes all the way back. I just really love my Starbucks tumblers, okay? So just don't mind me. Um, I have so many of them. Ted's like, I think we have enough. But these are the hot cup, or the color changing cups. And um, then they're like confetti ones that change colors, which are really pretty. So anyways, I just put pre-workout -work in that and drink it. But yeah, here's my tumblers. This one my sister got me um, for Christmas. She lives in Hawaii. I have all of these studded ones. I have a hot pink one, a like silver one, a holographic one, this black one, the pink one you guys already saw. I'm trying to think what other colors they came out with. These ones are super cool. This is like a newer one. Um, this one's a glass one. I just like have so many, but I love them. Uh, this one's super cool. This one's from a few years ago. Oh, and then I have the rainbow studded one. Um, this one, I don't use that often, but the California one, which I thought was super neat. So anyways, I have a slight addiction to Starbucks tumbler mugs. All right, so I thought I would do a quick gym outfit of the day before I go change, <laughs> uh, since we're post-workout. Um, this is both from Gymshark. These are their like flex cycling leggings, which I really, really like. Um, these are an extra small, I fluctuate between an extra small and a small in these. Um, they're still like a lot of stretch. So I'm glad I got these and they don't cut off my thighs. And then the bra is really cool. I bought this in, I think two colors. Um, it's like a dual bra. So you have like one bra and then this bra over it. Um, super comfortable and it feels really secure without being like too tight. Um, so if you have a larger chest, I think you'd really like these. And then my shoes, these are just like Adidas. I think they're called cloud foam or something. I'm pretty sure I got these at TJ Maxx, but, um, I will link these two items. These sell out, um, pretty fast. I've bought them about after like the fourth restock, I finally was able to get my hands on them. So I got them in this color the black and then the like coral and then and you don't get camel toe which is nice oh <laughs> uh, you kind of get like the barbie barbie crotch um but anyways that is my workout outfit of the day so i'm gonna go shower off and probably make some food here pretty soon hi hi pretty girl you ready to get up? Hi. Oh, hi, sweet girl. You ready to get up, huh? Gotta unzip you. Hi, honey. Did you sleep good? Should we go have some lunch, huh? You want a little lunch? You have a good nap? Gotta change your diaper, huh? Oh. Oh, so snuggly. Oh, mama loves you. Mm. Should we go find Bubba? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to show you what I'm making for lunches. So Ted and I are gonna have the same thing, but we're gonna make beef and something different. So I'm gonna start mine and Ted's first. These cut the carb. You can get them online. Um, I constantly order these because we go through them so fast. Um, low carb, little flatbreads. So I'm gonna make us each one. This is like what we eat for lunch almost every single day. Spray and just lightly spray it. You can cut these and make chips out of them too. This is the G Hughes barbecue sugar-free maple and brown sugar. Um, I really like this, it has great flavor and it's only 10 calories. One moment, Finn has decided that every time I try to vlog, he wants to go outside, so one moment. He has decided that they wanna make as much noise as possible. I'm um, like the very few times I try to film. Um, I count my macros, but not everybody is gonna do that, so obviously if you don't count your macros, put as much sauce as you want. Um, so this one will be mine, this one will be Ted's. Liv, do you got your little Dyson? 
So I set my scale to zero and I'm gonna put one serving, which is 30 grams. 15 on mine, because I don't need as much sauce on mine. So that I do half of a serving. It's so funny because I've tried to film this multiple times and every time I try to film it, the dog starts whining to go outside and then instantly wants right back in. Um, for my husband, I'm gonna do two servings of cheese. So that is going to be 56 grams. And this is just the um, low moisture part skim moisture, uh, mozzarella. And we just get it at our local grocery store. I'm not a big cheese person. I do like mozzarella cheese, but um, one serving is fine for me. So just do whatever you want, put as much as you want. Again, if you don't track macros or you're not like tracking anything like that, then um, obviously put what, however much you want. We actually pre, like we barbecue a ton of chicken, probably like two packets of chicken. And then we cut it up into small cubes like this. Um, that way you can have it for pizza, salads, anything like that. So I'm gonna do, set my scale to ounces and we don't have much left. So we're gonna have to kind of share what's left here. And again, cook it in the oven for 375 for about 10 minutes. All right, now we're gonna make Ethan's food. So um, I will use either that shredded chicken that I showed you or the cube chicken, or I also found this at my grocery store. Actually, um, Save Mart, we just had one that opened. So you're gonna use a green tortilla. I like the bigger ones, but he's already eaten all the bigger ones, so we're on to the little ones. I just took some corn and beans and kind of heated it up in a pan and then stuck them in here just so that it's super easy. So I think I'm gonna make him two since these are smaller. But I learned this trick from, I think Aspen Ovard is the one who showed it. Um, you just cut the top of it off an avocado. And I cut this like four days ago and there's like hardly any brown. If this was like cut normally, then there would be so much brown on it. It would probably be unusable. So you just cut the top off and then scoop it out. Then again, you could use like the cubed chicken that I already showed you or you can use shredded chicken or this chicken, whatever. You can switch it for beef. Um, I just personally like the, this chicken. You take some tortilla strips. This came in like a different bag, but I had like two bags open, so I just combined them in one. And then this salsa verde avocado dressing. And I definitely overfilled this for how tiny this tortilla is. And he likes a lot of sauce on his, so. Go. So then you just roll these. Again, if you had the bigger one, then you could fit way more on here. It'd be way easier to roll. What you doing, Mibs? Oh, you're putting your blueberries. Well, let's leave them. Okay. You've got some quesadilla and some blueberries. You ate all your strawberries, but why don't you want to eat your blooms? Blueberries used to be your favorite. You see her, PJ? She keeps trying to pull them over her head. So it's like all stretched out over her. <laughs> What's happening? We gotta get you dressed for the day. Anywho, this is my pizza. I just cut it into these strips and it's super thin. You can see it's like really thin and crispy. So you can make chips out of this. Um, crunch wraps are really great. So anyways, I just love this. What's happening? What? What's happening? Liv, what are you doing? <laughs> Silly. Hey, Finny. Hey, Finny. <laughs> He's so cute, Ben. Hey, Ben. Come here. <laughs> Hello, I'm getting ready while well, touching up my makeup. We have dinner tonight with um, Ted's family for his brother's birthday. So I thought I'd share with you what I'm wearing because I forgot to do that this morning. Um, for my foundation, I also forgot my like little tripod thing downstairs. Um, for my foundation, I have the Too Faced 
uh, Do You Foundation in the shade Light Beige. I'm trying to finish this up. It's a great foundation. I probably have maybe two uses left. I do mix a little bit of the Too Faced Peach Perfect in it as well in Light Beige. Um, for my eyes, I'm using the same palette I did yesterday. It's actually a combination of Going Coconuts and the Nude Mood. I just used the red shade out of the Going Coconuts, kind of that reddish brown. Um, and then for my lid, I have on, which one did I use today? This one, Monococo. Is that what I used? Yes, it is. Um, that's what is on my lid. I just used a little bit of like Fix Plus. Lips is the same as yesterday. The nude lip liner from NYX, it's called, I think it's called Natural. And then this from the, their bronze collection in a la plage, plage? I don't know. Stay by me, I don't know if they still have this color. And then my highlight is, I really love this. It's from Clinique. It's one of their powder pops in Lunar Pop. And that's the highlight, it's super pretty. Um, and that's about it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I think I'm gonna wear one of those leopard dresses. <sighs> I just can't decide. So anyways, we're gonna go to Kobe's, which is like one of my favorite places. And I was gonna curl my hair, but I'm kind of liking it like this. I had a few people ask for tutorials on Instagram. I literally just blow dried my hair and that's it. Blow dried it, slept on it. I don't even brush it. And um, it just naturally kind of does this little flip probably due to the length. So anyways, when I figure out what I'm gonna wear, I'll let you guys know. Happy Monday. I have totally spaced on vlogging all day today. It's like 12.30. I got my workout in. Laid down sort of for a nap during Liv's nap. And now I'm getting ready to eat pizza, my little barbecue pizza. Um, and then I gotta go by Target and do a pickup order because I ordered Liv some like big Lego blocks because she's been wanting to play with Ethan's. There's Liv. She's been wanting to play with Ethan's, but I just, I'm a little nervous. She's pretty good lately about like not putting things in her mouth that she's not supposed to, but Legos are just so small and I don't want to take any chances. So I'm gonna get her some big blocks. Livs, what you doing? Any boy. She's got some fruit, a quesadilla, some popcorn. The only food we can really get her to eat other than pretty much fruit is either quesadilla or mac and cheese. Like she won't eat any meat. I can get her to eat eggs too. She doesn't really eat rice. She won't eat vegetables except for edamame. And you don't eat any meat. We offer you all our dinner and you never want to eat it. You just want quesadilla. Okay. Gotta keep it on your tray. If you don't want it, put it in the circle. Um, so if you have any tips, let me know, cause we have tried everything with her. Ethan, not a picky eater. This one, she's a picky eater, huh? Yeah. So that's what we got going on today. So I just got this in. I didn't even know that I was on a Vital Proteins appear list, uh, but they have some new beauty capsules. So we have the Vital Proteins Complexion Boost. It has skin, um, support skin hydration, moisture, ceramides, boost collagen, synthesis. This one, so complexion. This one is beauty boost for skin, hair, and nails. This one's hair boost, supporting stronger hair, and it has five times daily biotin. And then this one is skin hydration. So here's the little thing. So where do you need your beauty glow up? Um, so, as I told you guys earlier, we were supposed to go to Napa this weekend as like a late anniversary. My hair like literally looks trash. <laughs> we were supposed to go um, for a late anniversary trip, but um, they just announced in California that they were shutting all wineries and restaurants through the whole state of California. So we're not going to be doing that now. Um, well, pretty much Napa's shut down. We live up in Northern California. Do you want out or do you want in? You can't say, come on, come inside. Um, 
we live like Northern California, so they don't, it's a little different here. Like we have had 200 cases, six deaths, and we have like over 180,000 people. So our numbers are fairly low. Um, but our restaurants are closed, wineries are closed. So I think we're gonna go to Nevada. I think we're gonna go to Reno and see if we can do something fun there. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Getting ready to go to the gym, so I thought I'd show you my gym outfit of the day. I'll link all these down below. This sports bra is from Old Navy. I got a size medium. I'm wishing I would have got a size small though, because the band feels just a little bit big, but I went based on my bra size. Um, this is what they recommended, <clears throat> but I feel like it's a little bit big, uh, but I love the color. And then uh, pants or gym shark. Again, medium, these are an extra small, and I think they fit really good. They, are, they have nice compression to them, um, and I love the ombre. And then my shoes, these are Nike. I got them a while ago, so I'll have to see if I can find them, but that's my little outfit of the day. We got our honest diapers in. This is what we've used since Liv was like really young. I used the same with Ethan too, and I really liked them. And we've got a pouty little puppy, huh? Hi, sweet boy. He, I don't know if it was from swimming and then the heat or what, but he caught an ear infection and then he got these hot spots on his ears. And you can see there where it's healing, but it was really bad. So he's almost done with his antibiotics. And then he keeps jumping in and out of the pool and scraping his poor little leg. So you can see there, he's got like a little owie and then he corn cobs his little leg, huh? We don't want to put a cone on you, do we, buddy? He's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. And then, update on the couches. I talked about these on my Instagram. Love them. They're from Our House. Our House. A R H A U S. I will link them down below. We have it in the snow um, white color. Uh, so it's not actually, I think it's called snow something. Um, it's actually not white, white. It has like some off white threading in it, which I really like. But you can, it removes like, you can remove. Want red wine, coffee, dirt, blood. <laughs> like it all supposedly comes off of it really easy. It's the most comfortable couch ever. And we still love our chairs. So those we're loving. Little Miss Liv over here has her little muffins and her little yogurt and her milk. We gotta do your hair. It's getting so long, huh? And crazy, isn't it, sweet girl? So she's just having a good morning, getting ready to go to the gym. Yeah. A little outfits from Target, little Minnie Mouse shirt, and then these cute little shoes. I need to get bigger ones because these are size five and they're almost too small for her, but so cute. So I got this um, new little shower, not shower gel, spray. What, are this, what is this called? It's not a perfume, body splash, body spray. <laughs> oh my gosh, words are hard. Uh, from Good Chemistry, it's in the, the fragrance scent queen bee wow really words are hard um it's from target and it smells really good a friend of mine was talking about it on instagram and i thought i'd get it and it smells very very delightful here's the notes on it too do you see how bad my spray tan is oh that's got to get scrubbed off tonight okay so i watched a little youtube a little kelly strack i totally forgot to film what I was making, so I thought I would just show you while we're in process. <laughs> well, Ted's out of town, um, as you guys as you guys know, or if you don't, he works out of town half the week. So um, I usually try to cook enough for me to have for like three days of meals, so I don't have to cook every day just for myself. Um, but or Ethan, because we like the same thing, so Ethan and I will just you know eat leftovers for three days. Um, this is Brussels sprouts. Clearly, I just buy them halved. I don't even know if the, oh yes, here, here's the packaging. This is what I get. And I just put olive oil in here. There is three tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper and um, garlic powder. And I just um, kind of let the olive oil zhuzh in here while my air fryer heats up. And then I'm gonna, I'm going to heat it up at 270. That is a lie. I'm gonna heat it at 370 for about 20 minutes, but every five minutes, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna zhuzh it. I like my Brussels sprouts very crispy, like borderline burnt. 
And so uh, that's how I like mine. But I find if I zhuzh them every five minutes, um, then it gets all of it nice and crispy. So that's just kind of doing its thing. And then in my oven, I have salmon fillets, you can see there. And all I do is put them on a pan and I use a little bit of this Flavor God Everything Seasoning. That's all I put on it. And I'm cooking them, since they're all cut pretty small, I'm cooking it at 375 for about 20 minutes. And then I'm boiling water for Liv for her mac and cheese because she literally will not eat anything but mac and cheese, quesadillas, and the nut chili I made yesterday. <laughs> I offer her everything we eat and she won't eat it. She won't eat chicken, steak, ugh, just, it's difficult. <laughs> she loves fruit though, but she won't touch a vegetable. And then over here, I got this um, from Target online. I'll try to remember to link it below. It's just a um, diffuser. So I have a little lemon and peppermint in there and it smells so good. I have another one over here. Let's see, this one that I have to put upstairs, but they were super inexpensive from, from Target. My good old calendar. It's pretty empty nowadays because, well, we uh, aren't going very many places anymore. <laughs> oh, and little Finny sleeping, huh? And here we go. I decided to have a little mac and cheese too. Salmon, about a little less than four and a half ounces, but you can see it like it gives this nice little crispiness. I think I cooked it a little longer than I should have. I already cut the time down because I usually get one huge filet and then I cut it, but these ones were already pre-cut. So I could have gone a little less time on this. And then, oh, these are perfect. I like mine crispy. How's your food, sis? Got some crazy bedhead. We got some mac and cheese, some grapes and blueberries. Are they pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, sweet girl. He's just hoping something drops. I am on like extra alert when there's grapes on her plate because grapes are bad for pups, huh? Yeah. Okay, finishing up the vlog for the week. It is Monday. Liv, where'd you go? Livy, do you see yourself? <laughs> we spent the weekend in Reno and it was so nice. Nice to get away. I was gonna vlog it, but I decided not to. We really just went shopping. And it was like our first time, well, my first time really being out of town with everybody in masks and everything. It was a very interesting experience. <laughs> uh, but it was nice because it was for our anniversary. Oh, look, hold on. Are you talking on the phone? <laughs> uh, it was nice to get away um, for a late anniversary trip. Um, but I wanted to update you guys one last time for this week. Um, our new bed, like bed frame is coming in today. So I'm gonna be showing you guys that coming up in the next vlog. Uh, I'm so excited. It matches like all the rest of like this furniture, which is from Restoration Hardware. It is their um, Russian oak, reclaimed Russian oak collection. And it's in the color of the gray one. Um, so that comes in this week. So you guys will be able to see that. And we love, our mattress um, we've been sleeping on it for a week now and we've been getting great sleep I love that it just kind of contours to my body it's not too soft it's not too firm I tend to like more of a firm mattress Ted likes a little bit more of a softer mattress and it really just works perfectly for both of us so I love it um, thank you Lowell so much for sending that to us we really appreciate it I will have a coupon code down below if you guys are interested in picking one up um, the duvet cover is amazing she's still talking on the phone like hold on oh no, she stopped um, the duvet cover is amazing love it um, the pillows we've been sleeping with every single night. We were sleeping with those before we even got the mattress and it's just, it's so nice. So, um, thank you guys. We'll see you guys in the next vlog.